Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, as I know today we have a mystery box from Classic Football Shirts. So I've ordered from them before. I'm pretty sure the uh, mystery box prices have differed. This box right here, 40 pounds. So not too bad, potentially could be bad, who knows? It is what it is. This shirt right here I got from a mystery box from them before. This is the 2001 to 2002 home shirt of SV Reed. Uh, they're about a mid-table club, I'm pretty sure. I'll put right there what position they are. So there's that. But um, then right here is a second mystery box I did from class. I did. I got from classic football shirts. Zesco United. They're in the Zambian Super League. They're currently second place while I'm recording this. But um, all in all, hopefully we get something good. A lot of people haven't. But I am going to read over a couple of things with the classic mystery box, which is what they titled this one. So it does say one classic football shirt with a website sale value of $29.99 and over. Classic football shirts, they overprice a lot of products, to be honest. So there's a high chance it's not a great shirt. It just is what it is. It says the team is an official professional football club slash national team outfield or goalkeeper shirt. Will not include UK or Ireland based club teams and will not include training. Condition, very good or excellent. And size, of course, I chose size medium. Condition details may include any slash all of slight faded colors, bobbling small poles, minor damage and wear to sponsor badges, printing and patches, and the odd small marks. So if it includes all that, like it says, may include any slash all, then I'm not sure if that's very good or excellent condition. But it is what it is. Also, we're guaranteed a scarf. Will not include UK or Ireland-based club slash national teams, a magazine, one classic football magazine, player cards, 10 official classic football shirts, player cards from the current icons and legends release. Pin badge, one highly collectible football shirt pin badge created by talented designer at Golazzo Cards. Poster, one A3 classic football shirts graphic print from one of the many also available for sale separately on our website. So that was just worded terribly. That wasn't even on me. In a program, one classic football shirts, 15th anniversary exhibition program, definitive guide to all things football shirt featuring 2000 high quality images. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, so here it is in the bubble wrap. It came in a white bag. Went ahead and took that off of it, of course. But let's go ahead and rip into it. Not too worried about the bubble wrap. Let's go ahead and get that out of here. I could pop the bubbles in the bubble wrap like everybody does on YouTube because they think they're quirky doing it, but I'm not gonna do that. This condition right here, not great on the box at all, but it is what it is. And we will go ahead and open it up. We have what I believe to be the print first. So let's go ahead and get into that. Not really a person who's big into prints really. You can just essentially a poster really, but hopefully it's something all right. It's crinkled a little bit, but looks like we have World Cup shirts of 1990. So that's pretty neat, I suppose. It'll probably just sit in this tube forever though, to be honest. So moving on next, we have a magazine. So I uh, wonder what year this is from. 1996, the 20th of July. I'm sure this is in every doctor's office in the UK. So yeah, I'm not really big on this kind of stuff, but I suppose it's pretty cool. But I don't know. Is this kind of stuff in the doctor's offices in the UK? I know America's Pretty good about that. We have the legend himself though, Aaron Robin, when he played for Chelsea. What a beautiful man. Don't you think he's beautiful? Let me shake your head now. But, I don't know, that's cool, I suppose. All right, and now next, this is just something I think is pretty cool. Official program, TFS 15th Anniversary Exhibition 2021. So, this was a book that I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I'm not gonna go through all of it because it's a whole, whole lot, but um, just different football shirts. That's what it comes down to. We'll open up one random page and it's part of a new chapter, getting noticed. But it does have the shrimp kit, beautiful kit that that one is. But um, let's go to a different page and look at it. So we have some Nike Origins, for example. Pretty cool, nice quality book. You know, it's got that nice rubbery matte feel to it. But now we're going to get into this, which should include the scarf 
So I'm gonna fill for that first. Actually, there's gonna be other things in here too, so I'm gonna fill for the other stuff instead. So we have the cards first here, and it also comes with a sticker pack. So Bundesliga Fußball 08 slash 09. So that's pretty cool. There was nothing noted on that, so there's that. But then we have these classic football shirts does this, which just little prints. I guess you can call them cards, but Paolo Di Canio, probably pronounced that wrong. Um, Hiditoshi Nakata, Frank Lampard, Adriano, Yaya Torre, legend, Thierry Henry, Clarence Seedorf, Francesco Totti, Zinedine Zidane, and then Kaka. But Yaya Torre, what a lovely player that, that was. And I love the chant, the whole colo. Yeah, you know, you know what it is. You definitely do. But we'll set those to the side. The pin here we have IX 2000 slash 01, which Dutch League. I support PSV, and this is a rival of them, but I'm not too heavily invested in it. I haven't really watched the Dutch League a whole lot in a while, but that is still a pretty cool pin. Set that to the side, and now the scarf. We'll pull it out. It's Inter Milan. You can already tell by the colors, so that's pretty dope, but it's not. This is a lame scarf because it just says Inter here, and that's it. No crest. No nothing, so I'm complaining, but it is what it is. Oh, my face is barely in the shot. I'm crouching down, but it's just a blue and white scarf. Probably smells weird. I'm going to try not to inhale it, but enter. I wish there was a crest on here, but it is what it is. Getting into the shirt now. I'm pull it out. It looks burgundy. Never heard of this club in my life, but OSC Kickers made in Egypt. Do have some saran wrap. Oh, okay. Patches on the sleeves, which you like to see usually. So, veteran sports, similar to like DFB, and we have Volkswagen sleeve sponsor here as well. So, potentially a German club or an Austrian club. Horrible crease there on the Sponsor there. And we got the back. Definitely an older shirt. Not too old by any means. I'd say probably mid 2000s. So from a quick Google search, I found out that they are third place in the Regional Liga, which is the fourth tier of German football. They're in the Southwest. So that's pretty cool. Should have really known that from this. It was DFB reminiscent, of course. But, um, I don't know. It just kind of gave me Austrian vibes, to be honest. But it is a German club, so that's pretty cool. Typically, you don't keep German club shirts. Typically, you don't get German club shirts unless they are Bayern. I do have a Nuremberg Special Edition. But um, this right here is still a nice shirt. I think it's the best mystery shirt I got from Classic Football Shirts Mystery Boxes. This one right here is one of my least favorite shirts in the collection. But this, there's minor you know, little mistakes in quality, but all in all, I would say it's still a good good condition shirt, to be honest. All right, so upon looking it up, 2012 to 2013, that's what this shirt looks like it's from, the home shirt. This is the 111th anniversary shirt. All in all, nothing too exciting, but I'm not too bummed. Okay, so one thing I wanna point out about the shirt, look at this, sponsor in the center. It's like crooked. Like, this is a defect shirt. You can already tell there. Oh, my nipple. Well, not my nipple right there. But you can see the crease there. This is just a full-on defect. And I'm sure that classic football shirt's bought in bulk. But nonetheless, yeah. 
If you have purchased the classic football shirts mystery box, let me know in the comments what you got. I'm curious to see what other people have gotten. So if you continue watching this video past these close-up shots of the shirt, you will be seeing some bloopers. There are a lot of videos of mine that have bloopers. All of them have bloopers. This one especially because my girlfriend was with me while I was recording it. I don't know if I just get butterflies despite being together for over seven years. But these bloopers right here that I'm including are only the ones of her bad box throws to me. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, as I am to Today we have a mystery box. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, as I am to Today we have a mystery box. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, as I Today we have a mystery box. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, as I Today we have a mystery box from... That was good. I just messed up. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, as I Today we have a mystery box from... Thank you for watching, though, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Snell, and adios.